authorities. The authorities have finally decided to shut down physical school plants following numerous calls to do so before and after the start of the new term. Schools will be closed for 10 days from Friday, January 22, 2021. This is one of nine recommendations coming out of the NIMAC meeting hosted on Tuesday. However, various groups of students will be allowed to continue with face-to-face -face instruction. Chair of the Command Center, Dominic Fede, outlined these exceptions. All schools, public and private, are to remain physically closed and exclusively operational via multimedia platforms. Special allowances in the public education system are made to facilitate the following. One, students of medical schools. Grade six, uh, students who are sitting the KIPP examinations. Secondary schools in form four and fives that are sitting uh, CSEC other exams and preparing for practical evaluations. This recommendation shall be in effect as of Friday the 22nd of January for a 10-day period. Chief Education Officer Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer called on adults to set an example for students and comply with the protocols. We embrace the fact that educational institutions can be part and can support this initiative as it is for the well-being of everybody in St. Lucia. And so we continue, likewise, to speak to what can we do to make the situation better. We want to be part of the solution and not part of the problem or the issue. As responsible stakeholders in education, we embrace this in a significant manner. For us, the message remains the same. Personal and collective responsibility of educators and everybody within our system. So adults in the room in particular, our parents, our teachers, our administrators, our support staff must take that responsibility quite seriously. We support the Department of Education, we support the national initiative to bring this under control, and we encourage everyone to model the correct behaviors the protocols that are going to help us get through this, while at the same time educating our young ones because they too can do the same. The decision to close schools follows reports that at least two learning institutions were confirmed as being unduly affected by the virus. Some have questioned the government's move to resume in-person instruction in January 2021 amid anticipation of a rising COVID-19 cases. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.